from the Sandama pigment, uh, no, actually from the Cameroon pigmentite in Namibia, we have a solid section of purpurite, of course named after, uh, I expect, I'm not quite sure, but I'd imagine it's named after the, the color. It has almost this purple sheen in some sections, as you can see here. Hellishly difficult to photograph, looks rather dull when, when photographing, it's actually quite, quite a nice intense dark color as you can see here, with a little bit of greenishness running through it, associated minerals from this pig, uh, Cameroon pigmentite. Of course, famous deposit for these purpurites. I don't know if they are widely distributed worldwide, but uh, definitely a healthy helping of these uh, purpurites did uh, come from this uh, Cameroon pigmentite, previously misidentified by myself as the Sandama pigmentite. All the way from Namibia, lovely little, uh, there we have the, the color, lovely intense color. An alternative, I guess, to sugilite, not quite sugilite, um, maybe serpentine and stichtite would be a better alternative to the sugilite, but a nice deep intense color anyway. Let's just go, let's see, let's underexpose it slightly, ah, oh, there we go, better exposure, this is a more accurate indication of, and there, there seems to be some crystallization of sorts in some of these sections. Actually, crystallization very similar to a feldspar.